replacing the uh, factory speaker with a cheap speaker. Eh, not quite as cheap speaker for the passenger side door. All right. What I have here is I have a uh, Pioneer TS uh, G1644R. It's a 250-watt, 4-ohm speaker that is a direct replacement for the stock speaker. Um, I have bought some really cheap speakers at the AutoZone, but and fit. So uh, we're just going to take um, a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a little bit of money to put uh, put the speakers that I had bought in. Uh, so I just went ahead and bought more expensive speakers that actually fit, and it's a wash. Um, I'm going to roll the window down because that makes it easier. But when Vicky told me what happened, I could hear the echo of his voice. I thought about everything that had happened this summer, and I just knew he'd gone back into that neighborhood. And... So the first thing you do, pull here, you pull out, and then you pull down. So you pull out, and then you pull down. If you do it the other way, you'll bend these clips or break them, and then it won't fit properly. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull a screw here, pull the screw here. Start from the front. Right. We'll pull that forward. Unplug. Make sure you push this in while you're trying to unplug it. This is the trickiest part, I think, of pulling this whole thing off, is this little clip back here is a pain in the butt. Um, what I'll do is I'll take a little flat tip screwdriver and I'll just kind of push it. So this piece goes inside this little hole and then this clips onto it. You can take a look at that clip right there and that clips onto it. So now we've got everything loose, got this disconnected, but I still have something connected back here for this light and I still have a plug connected to there. For this light, just reach behind it, turn it about uh, an eighth of a turn, boom, falls right out. For this one right here, what I always do, I just come up and then I turn the, turn the door this way and it allows easy access behind there to pull the plug out. Um, if you don't turn the panel, if you try to do it with the panel straight up and down, it's just really, really difficult to get back there. You can also do it this way and use that hole as a place to hold, you know, for your hand there. So today's job is really simple. I'm just going to pull the old speaker out, put the new speaker in. Um, this speaker actually works. The driver's side speaker did not work. This speaker actually works, but since I'm replacing a speaker with a different uh, size and wattage of speaker, I will replace both of them. Alright. Now. This is a little tricky. You have two clips that you have to pull off of that. Now, what I did on that side 
and what I'm going to do on this side, this side is I'm actually going to remove this plastic clip and then use the pieces that are in there. Uh, the way this clip is retained, the way these wires are retained in there is two little bits. There's this bit right here which folds down and then there are little clips inside that you have to pry away. I'll get a little tiny screwdriver. out and then down here you have these little plastic clips just pry them and pull bam bam Bob's your uncle now I'm thinking uh, I might be able to sell these on eBay don't know though we'll find out so new speaker um, I found out this just make it a little bit easier. I'm going to bend these tabs so that they point straight back. And then my plus is my colored wire. My minus is my um, it's my brown. So red is plus, brown is minus, um, and it's noted on here plus and minus. There are a bunch of other things that you could be doing here if you're going for studio quality sound, deadening doors, you know, making the proper uh, pieces that go between there, protecting the back of the speaker from moisture. Um, so there's a lot of different things that you can do that will really improve the sound quality. Um, but at this point, I just want speakers that work, and I'm not that uh, I'm not that worried about the sound because um, I don't have a baffle for my exhaust yet. So pretty much all I hear when I'm driving, unless I have it cranked way up, is the sound of the exhaust. Um, so now I'm gonna turn it on, make sure it works before I put the panel on. Uh, the, the water is very contaminated. We're going to start off today's program. But... Perfect. All right. <clears throat> oh, panel. That's the next thing. So, put your panel on. Again. Hold it here, plug it in, that makes it easier, and then you just roll it around there, pull that through there. The difficulty really is lining that up, and that's it. So uh, if you have the window all the way up, it actually sometimes will put pressure on there, so having the window down makes it easier. Once you've got it on there and you think you got it on there, just kind of wiggle it back and forth. Make sure that hole is lined up. And when it is, you can just go around. Oh, nope. You got to put your light in first, otherwise it won't uh, light up. Boom. Eighth of a turn. Bam, 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 bam. Bob's your uncle. So uh, sometimes 
if you find that this little piece is popping out, chances are you don't have this in correctly. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put our handle back on. This, like I said before, that little hook goes in there and then you swing this around to clip onto it. slide it back in there, it should be lined up. Little screw in the top. Big screw in the door handle. And that's how you change out the speaker in the front door.